For a lot of golfers in the early stage of playing golf, seeing the ball curve around in flight is not a nice thing to do at all. They hit the ball and it seems to curve and it always seems to go into trouble. But for a lot of more experienced golfers, a lot of more advanced players, we actively seek the ball curving. We want the ball to curve as long as we feel like we've got control of it and we can use that curve to our advantage. Certainly when you watch the world's best players on TV around certain golf courses, the 13th August always stands out in my mind. They want to curve the ball. They want to move the ball in the air. A straight golf shot on that hole won't necessarily do them any favors. And I'm sure you can imagine situations around your own golf course or your own, uh, in your own club that you play where you want to move the ball, be that as a tee shot, drawing it and fading it onto a fairway. If there's a crosswind, you want to hold the ball against the crosswind or ride the crosswind. If there's a flag tucked in behind a pond, you might want to fade the ball into that flag so it stops. You might want to hit a low running draw shot so it stays under the wind. There's lots of reasons why as golfers we might want to shape and control and curve the golf ball. So this next series of videos will explain how we can curve the golf ball, what the benefits of curving the golf ball are and the pitfalls that we might also look out for.